All right, so we are continuing with our exponent properties. Um, here we are looking at multiplication between two um, cube root numbers. So similar, we've seen this with square root, so it works the same way, way with cube root. You can go ahead and multiply the 45 and the 12 together and put those underneath the same, underneath one radical. All right, any time that you get a radical with your answer, you want to think about reducing. Can you reduce? And because it's the cube root, we're going to try to reduce with cube root numbers. Remember your cube root numbers, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, and we can keep going. We just take our calculator and we start dividing by those numbers till we find the biggest one that fits in. In this case, 27 fits in 20 times. Now you might ask yourself, well, how do you know if 27 is the biggest number? What I always do is I look at the second number, the cube root of 20, and I look back at my list and I say, do any of these fit into 20? If I found a number here that fit into 20 and this side could be reduced, that means I did not pick the biggest number over here. So I'm glancing over, I can see that none of these fit into 20, so I know that 27 is the biggest number that fits in. So the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 20 stays. And this is our reduced answer. All right, so our next example, we are dividing cube roots. So we can go ahead and see if 60 and 36 can be divided by the same number. And and we know that 60 and 36 can both be divided by 12. So if we divide them both by 12, we get the cube root of 5 over the cube root of 3. All right, so 5 over 3 cannot be reduced any further. So now we have to deal with this um, radical in the denominator. So we're going to rationalize this denominator. So we have to multiply the top and bottom by another cube root. And remember, we want, think about your cube root numbers, 8, 27, 64, 125. Whatever we put over here is a number that 3 can fit into. So does 8 work? Is 3 times a number equal to 8? No, 8 doesn't work. How about 27? Is 3 times anything equal to 27? Well, yeah, that works because 3 times 9 is 27. So on this, remember, our goal is to end up with a number from this list over here, because these are numbers we can take the cube root of. And then what do we have to multiply to get to that number? All right, so we had the cube root of 3, cube root of 9 equals the cube root of 27. On the top, if we multiply the 5 and 9, we get the cube root of 45. And then we go ahead and simplify one step further and say the cube root of 27 on the bottom is 3. And then the cube root of 45, can it be reduced? And all you do is you look back at your list and say, do any of these fit into 25? Because it's a cube root, so we're looking at cube root numbers, and they cannot. So that stays as the cube root of 45. Remember, we can't reduce the 45 with the 3 because this is a radical number and this one is not. All right, so now we're going to bring some variables into this just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, we have the square root of 18x squared. So we're going to square root both of these. Um, think of it as the square root of 18 times the square root of x squared. Well, we don't know the square root of 18, so we want to think about reducing it. Now that it's a square root, not a cube root, we're going to think about our square root numbers. 4, 9, 16, 25 find the biggest number that fits in, which is going to be a 9. So this breaks down into the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, because 9 times 2 is 18. So that square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 2 stays. Now I have the square root of x squared. So remember, the square cancels away the square root, leaving us with just an x. So it's not a square root of x, it's just an x, so that is going to go out front with 3. So our final answer is 3x times
times the square root of 2. So you basically square root everything on the inside and sometimes it looks a little different for your variables. All right, now we're looking at a cube root. So again, we're gonna cube root everything in here and you don't necessarily have to write it out as much as I did on the last one. First think the cube root of 375. Can we break it down? So what cube root numbers, now that your cube roots are 8, 27, 64, 125, there's the one that's going to work. So we're going to do the cube root of 125 times 3. Cube root of 125 is 5. I'm going to circle that cube root of 3 because I'm going to need that in a second. All right, now this cube root, I actually am going to write this off to the side. This cube root of a to the fifth. What we're going to do is we're going to break apart that a to the fifth so that we have something we can take the cube root of. So we're going to take the cube root of a to the third times the cube root of a squared. So basically, your a to the third and your a squared multiply to give you a to the fifth. I just broke apart those number of a's. And what's helpful about this is the cube root of a to the cube, remember those cancel each other out, leaving us with just an a. And then this cube root of a squared stays. So how do we put all this together? Anything outside of the radical stays outside the radical, so the 5 and the a. And then that cube root of a squared.